Oh, what? Okay, well that's clearly a waste of time. Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I'm your host, Chad of Fury 333 and we're continuing along the Ring City, and after figuring out the angel's not really killable, I guess... We'll explore what this tower did, because last time we went through here, this tower fell down. And I don't know why. I want to know why. Apparently there's a guy there, too, but... We'll deal with him after the angel's no longer paying attention to us. Oh. Look at you. You've got your head screwed on correct. Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this god's forsaken crag. Call me Lab. I, I can't remember my real name, so let's just go with that. I have a feeling we're going to make a fabulous team. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. But you sound like Patches. Oh. In all honesty, there's something I should tell you. I'm... a hollow. Yes. I try to play it off. But I haven't a clue about my past. Who I was. Or what I lived for. Not even my own blessed name. That's why I've come here, searching for the Purging Monument. Said to be in the Ringed City, where the pygmies who found the Dark Soul at the Dawn of Fire reside. All I can say is, those little stones aren't doing much to help me remember anymore. <laughs> well, that's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. Come on, what else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow for heaven's sake. <laughs> well, come <laughs> That may be true, but I'm also your lord, so I want to keep that in mind. But anyway, let's continue. Aha. Ow! Oh yeah, I I realized what it was that this actually reminded me of, and that is the Crown of the Iron King DLC for Dark Souls 2, the Broom Tower. Like, the whole thing with the... Oh, for crying out loud, what? Okay, I'm not sure what to do from here, then. Other than assume this is a safe plunge. Which it is. But yeah. Enemies coming out of ash on the ground. With those hooks and everything. That's straight out of the Broom Tower area of Dark Souls 2. Of the Crown of the Iron King DLC. Ah, great. Well, this is just perfect. Ah.
finally got my kicks in. I also just realized that I was using the wrong rings anyway. And back to normal, that should help a bit. Because I thought that the magic damage was what the angel was dealing, but nope. Or maybe, I don't know, doesn't matter. Angel can't be killed. Well, can be killed, but then gets replaced, so... Gotta be kidding me! Clearly not killing them then, but just running past them. Fine. Okay. Well, back down here we go. Oh. Okay. See, one thing I noticed when I was looking at the bonfire is if you look at the travel, this is considered Earthen Peak Ruins. And I was talking about Dark Souls 2 last time. I was talking to this time with the reference to the Crown of the Iron King. But I just realized this is the windmill that you burn when you're going through Earthen Peak. Like, in order to get from Earthen Peak through to the boss fight. Or at least to make... Mitha, I think her name was? Make her not have a poison swamp around her. Alright, so as we all know, we can't kill the Angel of Lasers. So we just move around them. All right. Uh, of course, to where is still the eternal question. Man, I hope there's a point later in this DLC where I can just not have a bloody angel shooting lasers at me all the bloody time. That would be really nice. Ugh. Because, like, we already know I can't get rid of it. I, I just can't. If I kill it, another one immediately takes its place. It's not even a matter of, oh, you go to the bonfire and then it comes back. No. It's just there. It's permanently there. I can't do anything about it. What do you want? Oh. I know who you are. <laughs> Great to see you still in one piece. Come on. I can see why they call this the Drake Heap at the World's End. Mangled remnants from every age and every land. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the ringed city rests below it all. Ah, uh, <laughs> don't mind me. You needn't worry yourself with this nonsense. I just wanted to tell someone, and I'm sick of old Humpty. I should stay quiet. Wait, I'll make it up to you by letting you in on a secret of sorts. Past here, you'll find the remains of a giant earthen tower, half submerged in a poisonous swamp. Not a very nice place to visit. Only, there's precious treasure in the thick of the swamp. I didn't have any use for it, you see. So, sorry, I, I left the whole package behind. If I get the chance, I, I could go fetch it for you. But if that's too long to wait, go nab it for yourself. I know who you are. A righteous warrior. Yes? With a solemn duty to boot. Well, grab that treasure. That's as good a duty as any. Okay, so clearly that's not just patches, but very likely the original Dark Souls patches. Because we already have met Dark Souls 3's patches. 
and they would know us. But I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the patches from the original, original game. And my guess is that patches being patches, the whole thing about this is a bit of a ruse. Uh, would you please stop? How do I do anything with you around here? Be something later on the last one to get rid of that stupid angel. Oh. There you are. Perfect timing. You remember that treasure? In the thick of the poison swamp. Well, I fetched it for you. As promised. Oh, there was only a hop and a skip. I needed a rest from old Nan over there. Here. Go ahead. It's yours. Maybe it'll help you with that solemn duty of yours. This really is a mangled re it well, thanks for this slab, at least. Not that I really need it, but alright, fine, whatever. Oh great, a desert spiromancer. A name to desert Oh god, I got a thousand HP! I only got one shot! <laughs> oh, at least it was worth it. Actually, really worth it, come to think of it. I probably, should, probably should cut the death montage a little short, because I actually was changing up a bunch of stuff, and I didn't actually end up using the Ring of Favor and Protection. Never mind. I thought I had, and then I realized that I hadn't. Still, what does plus three give me compared to plus one? Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 that's actually nice. I wonder what happens if I do that with... I can't! Ah, it's so close. Alright, that was my one thing I wanted with my greatsword. Actually, if I do this... I'll, I'll probably be back in a sec. I Oh, never mind. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of wanting to have something to actually get some way of Ring of the Evil Eye working. Which hopefully there's a plus three of that somewhere around here. But yeah, I kind of want Ring of the Evil Eye because Ring of the Evil Eye is probably going to be helpful in this area. There's so many light enemies, there's so many low HP enemies around here, but I can't get anything off killing them unless I have Ring of the Evil Eye. So that's the idea. Also, I realized I needed to use some of my 
big stuff to... Oh, hey, I'm in a really bad spot right now. Ah. Hey, good to know that there's something up there that was worth getting. Although it's starting to make me suspect that maybe my previous suspicions about there being ways to kill that angel are actually false and that there is no way of killing that angel. Yeah, Titanite Chunk! A lot of sacrifice runs. There might be a way of killing the angel. I might be dying for nothing, but it's Dark Souls. So, you know what? Dying is cheap. And granted, I say that, and yet the last few times I've died, I've been absolutely enraged. So, eh, the price of dying varies. The, mar the market is fickle. Remember that if you ever need to hire any assassins. Anyway, back down here, back through here, back to avoiding that angel. Oh, hey, did it this time. But yeah, it occurred to me that my ring choice was kind of poor, because I was using a ring that improved a bunch of stats at the cost of my absorption stat. Problem was, that's rather relevant when I'm being fired upon by a bunch of magic beams from the angel that seems hell-bent on killing me. So... I figure, all things considered, it's probably worth my time ow, to look into- what the- you still can hit me? Shoot. Alright, now I think I'm safe. Anyway, as I was saying, with- with this angel and the crap it's pulling, it's a bit of a pain. But my previous point was that the rings I were taking kind of relied on me using deep protection a lot. Which is, of course, a little bit silly. I mean, that's not a terrible thing to have. It's just... It's not great. So I figure probably my best interest to, first off, let you come to me. But more importantly, to go for rings that don't require I basically kill myself in order to actually deal damage. Also, maybe I want to switch over to the longsword. Ow. Oh, stupid walls. I think Bloodborne doesn't handle walls as aggressively, but I also don't recall there being quite as many really weird rock faces in that game either. Because I don't, I don't have the muscle memory for dealing with walls right now, and it's probably because I've been playing Bloodborne, and I don't recall having to deal with that crap. Uh, must you? Where am I? Ugh. Sometimes I wonder how much FromSoft even tests this game. Like, I mean, a camera has always been a perennial problem in their games. Like, they've... There's one thing they don't do well, it's camera controls. This is a known issue, it's an old, an old known issue, it's not really a thing I'm gonna... Oh, for crying out loud, seriously. Fine. Ah, damn it. This is impossible. Man, I feel like I have no stamina anymore. Which is funny, because I have more stamina than I ever have in this game, but it's just because it takes more stamina to do anything in this game than in Bloodborne. Oh, come on! Just break and die! It's not like I have any other options for dealing with you. 
I have to slash at you until you die. That's it. That's all I got. Except maybe a crossbow, but even then that doesn't work because you roll. Ugh. This game sometimes. What am I missing? This DLC is crap. Seriously, that stupid angel... There's... There should be some trick to dealing with that, but clearly there isn't. Like... Uh, they just make this entire thing to stuff soul over one playthroughs? They must have. Like, I can't see any way somebody without having a huge amount of HP or a huge amount of probably magic defense could even hope to survive the onslaught because you pretty much are guaranteed to get hit unless I'm missing something. I really hope I am. Because right now the design of this is just disappointing. Of course, as everyone knows, PvP in this game is a complete joke, even when it's against AI PvP enemies. Uh, I hate this game. Oh good, you only have someone to assist. Please tell me at least stay dead when I kill you. Would you please just go away? Finally! Sheesh! Ugh. I realize this item description I haven't read, but quite frankly, I don't care anymore. I just want this over with. Ah, oh, great. More of this bullshit. Two of you! What the hell from some...
Where am I even supposed to go? What am I missing? I've got to be missing something. That's impossible. I can't stop things from hitting me without dodging. They seriously make an entire section that's only viable for shield builds? What the hell? That is so on Dark Souls. Dark Souls is about anything, it's about flexibility. There's loads of different options that should work. Making an entire area that you basically can't beat without playing it in the one true way is just bullshit design. Oh, good. Zoe's not here. Actually, it looks like her entourage isn't here. Or they are here, but they're not, you know, here. You're not in the space that they were for. Uh. Okay, there's got to be something I'm not seeing. Oh, whoop de doo That's not going to help me against these bloody angels. Might as well eat the last moss. No, they're still floating there. <sighs> Maybe there's something I'm missing in terms of the drops. Like, this has been... No. No, there isn't! There's nothing I can do! What the hell?! Is this the wrong direction entirely? There's only one way to go! This whole bloody thing has been going down! Going down, going down, going down. That's the only way you can actually possibly move in this whole shitting DLC! Where the hell- uh. I don't know. No, there isn't. There's gotta be something I can drop to! There's always something you can drop to in this stupid area! I don't know how I could reasonably expect him to deal with this. not even a new area! That's the same bonfire as before! I mean, maybe it's across the other side, but it doesn't help me much. So what, I get another item? It's still bloody in plain view! Oh, thank God! Finally! Oh, that was utter... STILL?!
Ah. Let's see. Ah, I'm not prepared for this. Like, my equipment's not really in the right position for this setup, but whatever. Okay, I mean, this is the thing they were talking about. I thought that was the angels, but apparently this is something else. And I hope this dying gets rid of those bloody angels up top, because... Well, I don't know. Be nice. Ah, shoot. Okay. This is multiple stages. Ah, darn it. I'm never good at judging distance in 3D. Ah. All right, what am I thinking? I'm not going to stun them. Alright. <clears throat> Demon from below is on fire. Demon in pain is not on fire. Oh, what? Hang on. Yes! Visceral attack. Or not visceral attack, but the. You know what I mean. Wait, you're still alive? How are you not dead yet? Ah, uh, well, it's gonna mean my death, apparently, since I can't seem to get myself targeting you as I should. Okay, there we go. Good. Uh, okay, slightly more resilient than I thought, but not quite enough. Ow. Ah, shoot, almost had a first try. Hey, uh, that was... Okay, I mean, considering the circumstances, I wasn't exactly prepared for that, so... Which is kind of silly, because I sort of saw that it was a boss fight. Hi. So, magic damage is useless. Steel protection is probably a lot better. Life ring? I'll keep it. I mean, I'm kind of basically getting the value of Prisoner's Chain with two rings, but... I am getting higher absorption as a result, and I value that right now. Like, comparable life, but higher absorption? Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds good. Anyway, I'm going to end this off, as if, even though I've just finally found a part of the game that I'm actually not frustrated at, because boss fights are always boss fights, and clearly that boss fight wasn't too much of a challenge. So, for the time being, I am going to say goodbye, and then I'll be back with the boss fights next time. Please don't be surprised that this episode is probably a little late.